Hi guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to do a quick video um, on my first day out with the Olympus OMD EM1 camera which I got recently. Now I'm not going to do a proper review of it yet because um, this baby deserves a lot of time and effort into explaining every beautiful bit of detail in, in the creation of her. But I basically took this one out yesterday and we um, went for a little whirl. I used three different lenses on this camera. Um, I used, um, first of all, this one, my um, Lumix X lens, the 45-175 um, one. I also used my 12mm um, wide-angle lens. Um, I only used it once, but it got a really good shot, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I also used my um, SLR Magic Hyper Prime, my 0.95 um, lens, and I got some unbelievable pictures of the stars. Well, they are believable, but they're better than anything I've ever taken on any other camera. So I was really impressed by them, even though I'm slightly out of focus, which I really should be ashamed at, considering I do camera work and photography. But let's let's not get too caught up in um, my ineptitude uh, here, because this is a time of celebration. Right, first of all, using the 45-175mm to lens, um, I got some amazing shots. Um, I got one beautiful one of um, a house with some exceptional railing. And uh, when I also shot across the road, um, I managed to pick up a brilliant sign, which um, it just seemed to work really, really well as a photograph. And um, the lens functioned in a way which I'd never seen it before. The zoom was fast. The autofocus was bang on. It's like the camera just put this lens into steroid mode. The lens was a good lens on the Lumix G5 camera, but on the Olympus OM-T M1, we are dealing with a proper mega beast of a lens. Uh, now, I know that a lot of you probably don't like flowers or leaves, etc., or pictures of empty roads going round corners, um, but those are just some of the pictures that I managed to take with this lens. Um, God, I loved this lens um, to bits. It, it was fantastic. Um, the other lenses uh, which I used, um, I used my um, 12mm to take a picture of my friend's rabbit. Now, I really, really like the... Um, I, I, I love the picture because, um, you know, ra ra rabbits are cute anyway. And through a through 12mm wide-angle lens, right up close in little bunny's face so that it sniffs at the lens, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and on top of that, um, I got to use my SLR Magic Hyper Prime, which I used to capture a couple of pictures of comets, which I couldn't see. No, not comets, meteors, which I couldn't see with the naked eye. I was really, really impressed. Um, the pictures are slightly out of focus, but um, I can't quite figure out the an infinity setting at uh, the f-stop of 0.95 with this baby. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Overall... In terms of uh, the OMD em one success with me um, yesterday, I have never had such a beautiful, sophisticated camera, and I feel absolutely in love with this baby. I'm not going to forget about my Lumix G5 camera. She has served me well for many a year, um, but the em one is a beautiful model. Um, anybody who likes the Micro Four Thirds system, if you haven't ever laid your eyes on a piece of kit like this, this and the wide angle lens, um, I have to say, I when I started with a couple of the Olympus um, products a while back, I didn't like them very much, but um, the EM1 is a definite worth buying camera. Uh, you get so little noise um, in the pictures, where even at a highest ISO, it says that the highest you can go is about, um, I think it's uh, 700, correct me if I'm wrong, it, or either that or it's 680 in terms of ISO without noticeable noise. I find you can go a lot higher with this because I was shooting at 1600 and um, the noise is very, very... Um, very very small whereas I get a lot more noise out of uh, this baby anyway um, I'm sorry that I haven't got a camera review for you um, already um, but d uh, for one day out with um, the OMD EM1 I got a couple of awesome photos they are just a few of the ones that I've taken and um, overall I could not rate this camera high enough it outperforms anything I've ever held um, I, I just I was just completely blown away by it, really. Um, a lot of people don't like the Micro Four Thirds standard. 
that's their decision. My decision is um, that I do like the Micro Four Third standard, so that's where I'm staying. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been in some way useful to you. I'm sorry it's a little bit shoddy as far as my videos go. They've been getting gradually shoddier recently because I've just been through a beautiful emotional breakdown, which has been absolutely fantastic and made my life so much more uh, complicated. But, um, you know, I'm very, very proud of this piece of equipment and I'm going to take very good care of her. She is also really proper heavy, so I like that. Anyway, um... You take care. Have a lovely day. Um, if you liked uh, the video, please uh, feel free to like it, subscribe. Uh, right, and if you didn't, please feel free to dislike it. Write hate mail. Um, I'll try and answer everything that you, ha every question that you have, if you have any questions. And um, yeah, just in general, have a really nice time. Anyway, bye.